Welcome to Rondo of Blood again. Castlevania Dracula X is again a really weird game in the series. It's one of the I would say it's one of the lesser known ones. It's more of that it's proper quote unquote version is the more well known version of the two because it's the one that's more um, complete. I think it would be fair to say. And when they brought it over to SNES, because the original version was on the Japanese MSX computer, uh, this was the first, first version that uh, the West got for years, until the original version was finally released on the PSP. And a lot of people consider this a butchered port, which honestly it kind of is, because it's missing a lot of the original Rondo of Blood's key, key fe features. That being said, it's still, I feel, worth playing, because a lot of it is also super unique. There is legit a lot of uh, unique things in, uh, this Rondo, in uh, this Rondo of Blood. Like, stages being completely different, and items being completely different, which honestly I think is kind of unique and cool. Not saying that this is better by Rondo of Blood. Oh, absolutely isn't, but I still think it's absolutely worth playing. Uh, that being said, I need to make sure that, um, everything is absolutely fine. Yeah, I really don't want mono sounds, so I think we're good. Cool, let's get this thing started. God, I have to play this on a bloody Wii U pad. Fun fact, when I did my practice run of this game, I actually played the entire game just on the Wii U pa gamepad. Uh, in my bed. So that's actually one benefit that this version of the game has, uh, which is I'm able to just, you know, play in my bed. So this is the first time I'm seeing this game in HD, technically. Although it's uh, upscaled HD, not proper HD. Still looks uh, way better than the source material, though. I love funk guitar. Like, I don't think it's any secret to say that the SNES's sound chip is way better than the, um... Uh, than the, uh, SNES's sound ch uh, than the, uh, Genesis's uh, sound chip. I don't think that's controversial to say in the slightest. Because it's just straight up better. And, in terms of the SNES Rondo of Blood, this game has legit got a few things that they kept from Rondo of Blood. Uh, Richter can still do his backflip. Unfortunately, the extendo whip is no longer a feature, so you can't extend your range, which honestly is kind of lame. Not that I used it too much when I played, but it's still, like, nice just to be able to go, Oh shit, I can get some more range with this. Um, also, the Bible is unfortunately not a weapon you can use. Uh, jumps feel way more floaty. You can still backflip, though. Uh, backflipping I, is still a thing you can do. Oh, this game. I know, actually. I see my brother play it way back when. Really? Damn, he chose a weird one. Uh, thankfully, with the Wii U version, uh, it actually does come with save points. Uh, so I can use the similar method I was using for uh, other Castlevanias. Get the cross, there we go. And there should be, yep, meat right here. That being said, even though I think this game is still worth a play, this game is really fucked up in some ways. First off, well, Medusa heads on the first stage. That's pretty fucked up already. Second is... Some of the jumps you need to do in this game are actually kind of ri ridiculous. But we'll get to those when we get to those. Um, also, I need to make sure that I follow a very specific route, and thankfully I did my um, practice file very recently, so it's still fresh in my mind. Um, this game unfortunately doesn't have as many alternate stages as the original Rondo of Blood, um, and even if I could uh, do stage select and show them off. Uh, 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 e sorry, even if they're, um, even then, uh, this game doesn't have a stage select, I meant to say. So I can't show them off anyway. And that, and we need to do specific um, stages in order to get the best ending. Because this game actually technically has multiple endings. 
uh, depending on how many prisoners you save. Uh, unfortunately, this time, instead of four prisoners, there are only two. Uh, Maria and Richard's girlfriend, Annette. The, um... The church chick and the daughter of the doctor are completely absent. Anyway. Thankfully, making a restore point doesn't take too long. Also, I think there was meat somewhere in one of these. I'm gonna keep the cross, actually. I could have sworn it was in one of these. Yep, there it is. In fact, it'd be better to make the restore point right here. Yeah, I'm playing the Wii U version. Also, Fluffy, what are you doing? I thought. I thought you were going to sleep, damn it! Couldn't sleep, or even I feel like I could sleep when I got into bed. I said, fuck it, and so I got back up. Did I just change um, direction mid jump um, in a Richter game? Uh, no. No, I did not. Um, I did some. You can do some weird uh, backwards jumps in this game if you know what to do. That being said, it's not super easy. But you can do it to um, basically get some uh, good mile, um, a good, uh, some good um, spacing with your whip. I couldn't sleep. Which one is Richter's girlfriend again? The one who looks like um, Momoko? Yes. Uh, the one with purple hair. In Rondo of Blood, she doesn't... Y you know what? We'll get to that when we get to that. Oh, also, by the way, the crosses... Uh, this game still has item crashes. The cross is just the holy water. Like, straight up. It's like the exact same almost. And it's really strong. Blue meter under the health bar was the boss. Um, what's the, uh, the boss health bar, as you probably guessed by now. Also, I'm really sad because you still get the orbs, you can't pose in this game, because you immediately go to the stage clear screen, and it sucks. I want to do my posing, damn it. Anyway, stage two. Go make sure I do this correctly. Let's create store point, not load point. All right, let's go. Right, yeah, this stage. Okay, I need to be careful here because there are some jumps that try to screw you over. Like, this one coming up, if I remember correctly. Yep. Okay, we're good. Died a few more times, uh, first time I did that. Richter is best boy, even if he is a dumbass who brought back Dracula, I still love him. Okay, but to be fair, he didn't do that himself. And also, yeah, I hope you guys aren't sick of I hope you guys aren't sick of Richter, because out of all the Belmonts, I'm pretty sure he's the one who shows up the most, next to Simon. Not in judgment though. Richter was actually not included in judgment. That's super weird to think. Move forward. I would like my cross back, please. The knife is so not better. There's only like a specific number of circumstances where the uh, the knife I feel is better in any situation. Uh, that being not many. Uh, right. I actually also have to be careful because in this version of the game. Um, Richter's hand doesn't have a hitbox, so you can actually get into situations where, um, if you're too close to an enemy, your whip won't hit them. 
Also, I'm pretty sure this is the first game where axe armors throw their axe upwards. No, that's a lie. I think they could do that in Rondo of Blood. They just don't do it as often. I feel like they do it way more often in this game for some reason. So these fuckers... They're ridiculous... Spear range. Ah, shit. Yeah, that was my bad. I got way too I got way too impatient. It's fine, I got full health now. Hopefully I don't find a random piece of meat, otherwise that would be super bad. God, Richter Richter's jump is so floaty in this game. Like, you go so far when you jump. I know I mentioned that there are some ridiculous jumps you have to make in this game, that's still true. So I feel like they made his jump floaty to try and compensate for that. I don't know, it just feels like it's so much more floatier than any other Castlevania game. These guys fucking yeet you backwards. Alright, just just roll along, roll along Richter. It's no it's no biddy. Yeah, okay, this is the first fuck you jump. Um, right. Need to get right to the edge so I can actually jump the gap. Basically you can use knife crash to cheese him. Um um Richter was spared from judgment. This proves he's the best. The time that knife is used for like a raw hand is Richter mode versus uh Gallimoth in Symphony of the Night. You can basically use um knife um crash to cheese him to death because he has enough health to survive the three hydro storms. Yeah, I could believe that. Like, if you got a single target just standing still, then yeah, knife I, knife crash could be uh, pretty useful. You may have started also noticing that a lot of enemies in this game are um, just straight up uh, sprites stolen. Yeah, okay, there's the meat. Yeah, but some of the enemies here are just straight up uh, sprite stolen from Rondo of Blood. Because obviously, as a port, um, this game didn't get quite as much uh, work put into it. I mean, I know Symphony of the Night. I know Symphony of the Night uses um, assets from Rondo of Blood, but a lot of the assets they reuse in Symphony of the Night are I don't know. They just they don't feel as overused. And by that I mean, it's either like a sprite that only gets used once. Whereas in this game, I don't know. Y you'll see, because like this is the this is the bo uh, the bat boss that uh, Shaft summons, which is supposed to be a cool reference to Castlevania One, and they just went, ah, fuck it, just put it here. I don't know it just seems. I guess cheap is the word, but I mean, I guess that's what asset reusage is all about. Also, while I've been uh, doing this, I've been completely neglecting my health, which I just literally noticed right now. Oh yeah, that's right. Bosses do have final death attacks in this game. Hmm. The walk animation makes him look so menacing, and yet he moves like uh, Rachel from uh, NGS. <laughs> it's a good strut. I remember when they were talking about um, making bloodstains, one of the things Iga kept on like refining was Miriam's strut. Because they, he went, you need to make sure they feel like they're fucking going on an adventure. Like, the walking needs to feel good. You need a good strut. Hey, welcome back, Ethan. Just talking about uh, Walk Cycle in Bloodstained and how Ego was so adamant on, like, Miriam having a good strut. This Richter definitely feels like he is wanting to, um, fucking go to town in this game.
Oh, I forgot to mention it. I, I alluded to it to before. But, um, this game. This fucking game. Okay, I know it's stupid to say that a Castlevania having bats is, like, a thing. But, I swear to God, this game in particular. This game fucking loves bats as an enemy type. Like, hell, we've already had two instances of Medusa heads now. Which is already kind of ridiculous. Don't you worry, if you like bats, oh boy, you're gonna get your fill. It's honestly ridiculous how much this game uses bats. Like I said, I know that's stupid to say in a Castlevania game, but... Fucking hell, it gets to a point where you know it's a bit too much. Also, hello there, Hitbox. Nice to see you. This is hard to do with Richter's floaty jump. Yeah, no, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, I'm just going to restart at the bottom. I don't want to... I need to... I need to make sure I save lives. It's important. <sighs> just trust me. Because there is some, uh shenanigans that I have to do later. Uh, not in this stage. Next, no, this stage? No, no, it starts on this stage, I think. There's some uh, shenanigans that I need to uh, get ready for. I'll play Bloodstains, this the season. I don't think I'll be able to get to it, unfortunately. I would love to do a full playthrough of Bloodstained also, but I'm already pushing so many games that I feel like adding Bloodstained as well. If if there's enough time, I would love to. If not, hell, I'll just play Bloodstained another time. Because uh, it deserves it. I've already played it once on camera, but uh, unfortunately it didn't get archived properly. And that, that, that's my bad. Fucking Medusa heads. Go, 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 go! Pretty sure not that uh, that many of you are not supposed to spawn at once, but hey ho! Okay. It's the worst. This part. It's actually the worst. you. There we go. Okay, that was a bit close. All right, in the clear. Well, I, well, I say that. In the clear is uh, kind of subjective right now. That being said, I think. Yeah, spin your, yes, spin your fucking spear through the geometry. I think I want Axe. Axe will be way more useful going, coming, coming forward. You can still use uh, Hydra Storm in this game. Hydra Storm is the exact same. Also, I'm pretty sure the Axe is the exact same with the item crash too. Yeah, there we go. There's the meat. Right, yeah, okay, this point. <laughs> Not quite time for shenanigans. Um, I'm pretty sure the stopwatch doesn't have a... Um, uh, doesn't have a, um, item crash. <sighs> I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I used that invincibility. Actually, you know what? Let me check. No, it does have an item crash. It gives you a invincible shield around you. Huh. I think that's a replacement for the, um, Bible. At least it feels it. Yo, what about? Won't be here for too long, but this isn't the Rondo I remember. Yeah, it sure isn't. It's a way cheaper version. Well, oh, there goes my stopwatch. Jesus Christ. Jumping in this game is like playing Russian Roulette, and I didn't jump there because I thought I would die, and I died anyway. 
my ultimate shield cannot be penetrated. That reference was dumb. Yes, it was, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Those fish guys do like to breach, huh? Yep, they really do. Okay. Mama might always be having a good time. Just hanging out in water. Oh, shit, I did it again. Okay, fuck you, bat. You were nowhere near me. Uh, yeah, no. God, and I have no invincibility frames. Yep, okay. Just clench every time I jump, it's fine. No, 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 don't jump, jump, don't. Okay. And... Yep, no. Some would say having air control would be a nice thing. Castlevania Dracula X said, Yeah, you know what? That would be the nice thing to do. It'd be nice if you could have any semblance of control on your jumps. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Honestly, I'm just gonna take the hit so I can keep the axe because the axe will be useful for later. Yeah, okay. Okay, timed it perfectly that time. Just need to make it without mm, getting stuck on the ceiling. Okay, that was a little bit dicey. Right here. That's why I kept the axe. Such a braver. Hey everybody, how's it doing? How are you going? In Polish, rondo means roundabout, and I am about as confused as I could be. What is rondo in this context? Um, I think it's supposed to mean era, like an era of blood. I'm pretty sure that's what the context is supposed to be. Why is bloody tears always such a bot? Because. Castlevania music, it's God's gift to this given earth. If God said, you either have to get rid of the entirety of the Castlevania soundtrack, or I will make 2020 a much nicer year for everyone, I would keep the, the Castlevania soundtrack, no question. And the world will thank me for it. Honestly, I feel like it's a pretty fair trade. Okay, right. This part right here. This is actually where you get to an alternate stage. You know how you get to the alternate stage? By falling. Guess what I have to not do in order to save a prisoner? Actually, honestly, I'll show it. Here, you know what? I'll show it off because, yeah, it just brings you to stage alternate four. Which I can't let happen. I could have jumped out of that combo, but I wanted to show that um, I wasn't lying. For some reason. I don't know why I would think you would think I would be lying. Also, didn't mean to use that item crash, but you know what? It worked out in the end, so I'll take it. And that, this is why this section sucks, because I need to get to the other end without falling off once. If you think this is the, the, gonna be the only time I complain about falling off of things, you'd be sorely mistaken. Okay. This is the other reason the axe comes in handy. Also, I just completely wasted that meat over there, and that makes me sad, because I hit it with the axe, which is honestly really depressing, once again. Lots of depression in this game. Hey, 
Okay, but I got an extra life out of it. Uh, I think I'm at, yeah, I'm at four lives right now, so I got, I got a pretty good safety net, if nothing else. Okay, jump. And jump. Jump. Okay, I made it. <sighs> okay. That's step one done. Hey guys, you want to see some fucking shenanigans? That's not what I meant to do. That is not the shenanigans. But you know what? The Richter is inciting my rage because here's what I gotta do. It'd be nice if I had a sub weapon, but what if the game said no? You need this key. So we need the key. Oh, so hey, remember this enemy that I said is really hard against Richter? Yeah, we're using it as a boss fight because fuck you. Thankfully, he's actually way easier to cheese in this version of the game. At least, I feel like he's easier to cheese. I don't actually know if he's easier to cheese, but it feels like it, so... That's at least one thing. Because there's way more space to fight him, first off. There's some rocks, though, which sucks. Come on. Okay, yeah, thanks for the hit, bug. There we go. Perfect. Doesn't have his death attack, though, from Rondo of Blood, which is super weird. I'm actually really happy I did that first try. At least you can cheat his armor. <laughs> I mean, just a really dickish thing to do more than anything, if I'm being honest. Yeah, unfortunately, the key does nothing, and I can't use the key, because if I use the key... Okay, that being said, honestly, there's one fun thing you can do with the key. You can do it in Rondo, but I forgot to do it, but I can do it here. Uh, I have enough, uh, thingies to do it also. Hang on. Um, let me do this first off, just in case this screws up. You can actually use the key whenever. Like, I can, I can keep using the key. I can even item crash with the key. It just doesn't do anything. Thankfully, it doesn't actually use the key. Uh, no, I gotta keep the key. To anyone wondering, wait, do you have to keep the key this entire state? Yes. Don't use the key. Don't use any sub weapon, in fact. Not if you want the best ending. Okay. I'll make sure that I do this. Get out of your way. Up. Oh. Jump into the fire. That's very important. So many hearts and nothing to use it on. Huh. <sighs> Aside from graphics, what's the main difference between the versions? Oh, uh, lo lots of differences. Um, basically, Ro uh, Dracula X and Rondo of Blood. Uh, Rondo of Blood has four prisoners that you can save, whereas this game only has two. Uh, the stages are completely different, like across both games. Um, the Rondo of Blood has five alternate stages, whereas this game only has two. And they're completely different from each other. Uh, boss placement's completely different. Uh, Richter's moveset is slightly less in this version of the game because he can't extend his wit. There's less sub-weapons in this version of the game. Basically, the only reason you would ever want to play this version of the game is because the stages are different. Which is why I'm playing it. Mickey is amazing. I'm liking this song. You said this soundtrack appears in some other games. Uh, this one? Uh, this one specifically? I don't know. Honestly, I think these versions of the songs only appear in this game. So, like, that's the other thing that's unique to this game, because, um, it's using the, uh, the soundtrack for, 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 with the, um, SNES sound chip. 
So that's something else that's unique about this game, is its soundtrack. Okay, honestly... I'm just gonna backflip. Also, sorry, excuse me. Shit, shit. Fuck, I was so close to the... I can't die. You know why I can't die? Because if I die, I lose the key. This is why safe states make this way more tolerable. <laughs> the criticism I hear with the SNES version is that the levels feel like they're designed for Castlevania 4 rather than Victor's more traditional moveset. Um... I semi agree with that. The backflip actually comes in useful very in a lot of very specific situations. That backflip is back yeah. backflip is still absolutely useful. Because you saw me use it to get on top of the spike traps there, but overall I would definitely agree that this game is way less unpolished than um other Rondo of Blood. Other Rondo of Blood, honestly, while I was going through uh, it for my practice run. Um, it's now probably one of my favorite traditional Castlevanias. I think 4 is still... I might... It depends on the day now. I feel like if you are... Depending on the day you ask me, I would either say Rondo of Blood or 4 is my favorite traditional Castlevania. Also, I died. I gotta pray to God I don't pr I don't press create restore point. That would actually kill me inside. Shit! 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 Fucking zombies, man! God, fucking jump arc is so huge. Okay, so it's just specific themes that travel from game to theme. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Bloody Tears Vampire Killer are definitely the most, um, used across the entire series. Um, other than that, a lot of these stage themes are specific to stages depending on the game. And like I said, um, certain elements from, like, stage themes can get, make their way into other games, but, um, for the most part, they're pretty unique. Okay. If I could get to the meat, that would be good. At least um, Richter's whip speed is pretty fast in this game. Similar to Rondo also. Oh my god, fucking Jesus Christ, the bats! I told you guys, the bats in this game, the fucking bats. There's so many of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you back there, dude. I don't want any of that. Yep, no, I'm gone. I'm gone. I don't want none of that. Thankfully, spikes are not instant death in this game either. Spikes actually only do damage, which is actually nice. <sighs> okay. I made it to the room. I honestly expected to die as soon as I said that sentence. I'm not going to lie. That door. Key, go! Uh, key, go! It's Maria! You're not trapped by Shaft this time. You're just in some random-ass rock prison. And she literally says your girlfriend is in another castle. Also, you can't play as her. Fuck you, you don't get an easy mode. She does restore your health though, so that's nice. Yeah, no, I added watch this, Ethan. Galaxy 2 is my favorite today. Um. Whew, sorry, I was very focused again. 
Aside from dra uh, draft baits, blah, 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 is, um, or a fishing rod. Okay, read all that. Oh boy, I love those moods where you flip-flopped your favorites. What's my favorite? Mario today. I'm feeling 64, I think. <laughs> Watch this. What's that? Oh, yeah. So for anyone who doesn't know, I added a new reward based on my Rondo of Blood experience, which is, hey, if I'm thinking I'm about to do something cool and I fail horribly, you can call it out by going, watch this. The idea is, basically, you call it out before it happens, and it either becomes really cool because I pull it off, or hilarious because I don't. Hilarious for you, not hilarious for me. Also, holy shit, hello there, friends. There are a lot of you. Oh, oh, oh wait, wow, will you, wow, okay, H hello. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys, don't gain up on me. Also, hello, Fleeman. What's that, you say? Pick up the knife because you're done with the key, you say? Why would you assume we're done with the key? We only used it on one door. Why would you think that you only used the key on one door, guys? The key didn't disappear. We're not done with the key yet. I can't even imagine people who played this game thinking, Oh man, it's safe now, and then they see this. Unfortunately, that means we don't get to fight a boss, because this actually just skips the rest of the level. Uh, the boss was, uh, the Minotaur from Rondo of Blood. But yeah, we have to make sure we go to this stage. Door is not kill. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> That being said, this is a really pretty stage. Thankfully, we are done with key. Because the key actually disappeared now. I guess that's supposed to be a hint. The hint is supposed to be, oh, the key didn't disappear, so I could use it for uh, somewhere else. I still feel really sorry for the um, people that thought they were done with the key and then found out that they weren't actually done with the key. Also, shoutouts to my favorite enemy type, being the Water Spirits. I'm lying, of course. They are not my favorite. I hate them. That being said, this track is a fucking bop. Oh my fuck. You are nowhere near me. I had so much pixel space, and you still- you know what, fine, whatever, whatever, I'm gone. Okay, I need to make sure I do this right, because... Honestly, I don't wanna... I don't wanna make a, um... <laughs> you know what? I'll start at the save point, because I could get through that section way better, and I kind of need to, because I need to make sure I get to the end of this stage with a cross. Thankfully, I get multiple ch chances to get the cross, so it's not terrible, but still worth noting. Fucking merman. Oh. Restore points, the only way a noob like me could ever play games like these. Honestly, like, I know there are purists out there, but so you didn't beat the game if you used the restore point. Honestly, just play the game however you want. Like, if you want the challenge, go for it. That being said, like, I'm, I'm typically of the mindset that it's unfair to make people start an entire game all over again because you ran out of lives, because it's pretty... Like, it, it was the way to, like, make the game longer for people to play, because they would have to start at the beginning again. And don't get me wrong, you, you of course can do fair ways of doing that. That being said, I think checkpoints are just nice in general, and should be... Something that, um... Uh, 
is a you know always a standard, of course, uh, especially nowadays. Okay. Right. Okay. This fucking plate. Okay. That's right. That's a platform. Um. Shit. Okay. Right. Damn it. Why does this stop me? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, I got plenty of lives. I'll make a risk. Um, I'll I'll make my checkpoint here. I try to be um I try to be fair with my restore points with this game. As in, I try to limit them to screen transitions or before bosses. I don't do them like mid boss fight. You know, that's something that I typically try to avoid. Um, there's been times where, uh, I've done the mid-boss fight during stage transitions. But that's typically my limit. I try not to, like, just do a, like, a restore point every five seconds, basically. If I can avoid it. Obviously, if I can get through an entire boss phase or a boss thing without having to use save states, that would be great. Thankfully, I can get another cross here. Also, this is where jump distances get a little bit ridic. Yeah, there it is. Cross. Perfect. Also, good job, genius. You just killed yourself. That's the slowest moving head in the world, and I can't react to it because I can't jump because of the spikes. Okay. Get those hearts, and I'm, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Ah, <sighs> the only thing worse than no, uh, no checkpoints is bad checkpoints. True. Bad checkpointing is also a problem. I'm going to take a drink right now. And be thankful I have no time limit. Your restore points are basically where a modern game version would like me put a checkpoint, pretty much. Oh, by the way, the next, uh, the next uh, prisoner is here. I have so many questions about this particular choice. Like, there's a... I fucking knew that was gonna happen. I knew! Thankfully, that's why I made this save. Especially if bad checkpoints are before unskippable cutscenes. It's stuff like that why I use restore points, because it's like, how was I supposed to know that there was no ground underneath? Especially when I'm trying to use these big-ass jumps to... Okay, there we go. Okay, right. Okay, we're good. By the way, here is Annette, who decided to dye her hair blonde in this game. I don't know how she didn't drown, considering she was clearly underwater, and there was nothing blocking the water from getting to her. I don't know. Maybe she's a mermaid. Maybe she can breathe underwater. Also... Not sure why Dracula thought it was safer to keep her here rather than in his chambers. Because that's what he did in Rondo, and that made sense because he was trying to lure Richter towards him. But yeah, more than anything, I'm just trying to find I just kinda of find it funny that she just didn't drown. <laughs> because there was clearly water where she was hiding. Alright. The way the skeletons move is so funny to me, it's something about those knees wibbly wobbling. <laughs> they kind of got to strut themselves like Richter, weirdly enough. 
Uh, I need to keep the cross. You lucky bastard. Come on, crow. Come on, crow! Don't hide in the wall, I can still get you. If I don't die, I should be good. What even hit me? Oh, you! That was hiding behind the scenery that I couldn't see. Okay, cool. Thanks, video game. It's appreciated. I appreciate this hustle that you're doing right now. Oh, by the way, it's boss fight. <laughs> Remember that one boss fight I said I hated and I didn't want to fight? Well, here he is again. To be fair, he is in the water place. That being said, I still don't want to fight him. This is why I want the cross, so I can do this. Because honestly, fuck this boss fight. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Yeah, you're not gonna get me with that this time. Ah. <sighs> oh, it feels good. And backflip. Oh. Still really disappointed. Alternate timeline Drac was weird, plain and simple. <laughs> Richter, well, I got what I came for. Fuck this, I'm a bounce. <laughs> hey, he's got his girlfriend and he saved their child, so he's good. He's two for two. By the way, second to last stage. Once again, this is actually not that long a game. It's even shorter than Rondo, which is kind of uh, funny, because Rondo is kind of short if you um, don't do any of the um, alternate stages. <laughs> I love that Wads. Thank you so much. You're right, Wad. <laughs> That's just... Uh, something humorous about it, you know? It's just, just the simple things. Okay, honestly, fuck this. I was gonna be so mad if that if that put me in the freaking pit. <laughs> Not just another castle, Dracula's castle. That's a good uh, rendition of Castlevania uh, Freeze theme. Yeah, music strong in this game. One thing they did not shirk is the music. I think said this is. Okay, right. Stopwatch. I don't really want that. I still have four lives, right? Yeah, I do. Uh, I'll probably spawn here when I inevitably die. Having said, this room actually... Nope, nope, not gonna say it. Not gonna... Nope, not gonna say it. I would have died if I said it. There was a timeline where I said it's not that bad. And I would have died right there. I'm not falling for it again. I'm not falling for it again! <laughs> See, I didn't say it wasn't that bad that time. Which means... That that death was just completely just regular stupidity. I completely forgot to do a checkpoint. I'm a dumbass. You know what? 
You know what? I'm just erasing that out of existence. Is that fine? Is that cool with everyone? Am I allowed to get a redo, like, hard redo on that? I jinxed it anyway. Fine, don't worry about it. It's absolutely fine. I didn't think jinx a damn thing. What attempt at stage six? I didn't do an attempt at, attempt at stage six. Oh, this is a fucking attempt though, Jesus. Okay, can these crows actually... Why do you... Aid Dracula. Aren't bats and crows technically enemies? Don't like you have a feud or something? Like, I don't know, you're after the same food source or something? I feel like you should not be helping the vampire regime. Or the bat agenda, you know? I feel like you have your own, like, and by the way, yeah, like I said, this game fucking loves bats. We still got bats. After all this time, we still have bats. Speaking of, uh, right, okay. I'm going to spawn here. Okay. I can't wait till we get my favorite rendition of Bloody Tears. I want to ask which one it is. But, I feel like that's spoilers. Instead, I'll ask, how far away are we? I think that's a more of a vague question, which will be nicer. Oh, also the meat doesn't spawn if you don't have... Huh. If you don't have any damage, the meat doesn't spawn. Some of them. It's fine. Just fucking yeet me across the map, why don't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you had to get one more in there, didn't you, you son of a... I still have three lives, it's good. It's fine, it's fine. I've done all of my prisoners. I am fine. I got this. Okay. I remember this room being a massive pain, and I can't remember why. I think it was Spearman. Not soon is all I'll say. Okay. I have an idea of what it could be. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, okay, I remember this. Yeah, okay, now I remember why this room is a pain. Because this fucking Spearman can actually jailgate you from reaching the top of the stairs. Which means you have to lure him this way while bats are doing their thing. Now I remember why this stage sucks. That's fine though. Once again, I have a lot of lives to spare here. Yeah, you know what? You stay over there. I like you being over there. Richter, please get on the stairs. I know you can get on the stairs, no problem. So get on the stairs, no- Why do you do this to me, Richter? You literally just got wombo comboed by a bat because you just didn't decide to go on the stairs. I know you can jump on the stairs. Richter, Richter, Rick, 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 Richter, jump. Fuck. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? <sighs> Fucking bats. <laughs> oh, 
Honestly, the bats need their time to shine because they're annoying. But, like, everyone's like... No one's like, oh, man, the bats are the worst enemy. It's always the Medusa heads or the fucking Spearmen with their stupidly huge hitboxes on their spears, which aren't actually where their spears are. are. No, no one ever goes like, oh, man, the bats are the worst. Except for this game. This game, they went, nah, this is our time to shine. We are literally going to be in every single screen. You cannot stop us from spawning. And we are actually going to be as annoying as possible. Thought we were annoying before? Okay, sir, could you please get away from the stairs? Sir. Sir. Could you please actually get away from the stairs? I... Sir, I actually can't. So the bats found their niche. <laughs> fuck off. Actually, fuck you, Eve. <laughs> you know what? Yes, you're right. The bats found their niche. I'm so pissed off right now. <laughs> we have a clip to confirm that stairs are the worst. It's. just this one fucking spearman that just for some reason decides every so often, nah, you know what, you don't get to progress. I mean, credit to him, I guess he's doing his job. It's just him doing his job actually makes the game unfair. Because, yeah, I, yeah, I can't do anything. Like, I could back, try to backflip onto the platform? I guess? It's not very reliable, though. If I had an axe, I would have no problem, but unfortunately... I died, so... That complicated things a little bit. This motherfucking... Swap, swap the PC with perfect timing, my, my tablet just died. Nice. Nice. Shit. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'll take the bat. He's over there. I'll take it. Bats. Oh my god, Richter. There we go. I knew you could jump onto the stairs. Oh, you fuck. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just do it again. Richter, you can do it. R Richter. Richter, why do you do this to... Richter. You're a vampire hunter. You've been training for this your whole life. You're getting defeated by stairs, man. <sighs> Fucking Jesus Christ. You know what? I'll take it. <sighs> do I do? How many lives do I have left? Two? Okay, that's perfect. I'll take it. I am not playing careful now. That, like, last section actively got me so tilted. Right, okay. Reset myself. Reset myself. Okay, go through this. I can't really go through it slowly because the gears are... Always moving, so I actually can't take my time, but it's okay. It's okay. Just one ghost at a time. Okay. One ghost at a time. You know what? I'm going to fight you here. Up. Unless the ghost decided to piss off, in which case, I'll take that too! This jumping man is so floaty. God, it's so floaty. Ugh. 
Okay. Yeah, no, no chance, no chance. I thought I could make it, maybe, if I used the momentum of the card. No, no chance. I have to land on the other card after taking this guy out. Okay. I... Richter, why? Why did you have an animation for landing that time? <laughs> You're making this so hard to deal with. I... Oh, fuck me, it's so hard. <laughs> I got a blaze blue flashback from those gears. Doesn't look out of place at all. Don't worry about it. It's just the clock tower. Oh, by the way, I wish I could show. If anyone's wondering why I don't stay on the gear, it's because you can't. Because the gear rotates faster, then you can walk backwards. So you have to jump in order to make sure you don't fall off. Except the jump is so huge and floaty that you just end up jumping off anyway. Th like that, because for some reason, Richter now has a landing animation. Sometimes. Which takes up time. <sighs> this part. Honestly. Oh, and that fucking ghost. Yeah, if you hit me once, and we... If I can fight you here... Like, it's still not great, because I... Again, you have to fight against the, the cog, but at the very least, I have a chance. As opposed to over there, where trying to fight the ghost on the cog is literally suicide. Can I get you to... Okay, I can get you to spawn if I stay here. Okay, that's good. Okay, you just walk over it. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. Yes! No, you... Richter, why didn't you backflip? I could have backflipped. Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You know why? I figured it out. You don't jump. You just walk. It's fine. I figured out your secret video game. All I have to do is make sure that I do that. Do that perfectly so that lines up with that. Do this. Yeah, I'm fucking out. I'm out? Oh my god. Ah. <sighs> Oh, it's the seesaw tech. Exactly. <laughs> it never ends. Now I got Medusa heads. I swear to God, if a bat appears. <laughs> I'm not done with the cogs yet. Cogs are still going. I know I'm in a clock tower, but why are there so many cogs? They're not even textured cogs. Okay. Yeah, you know I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yes. Okay. I made it. Oh. Spoke too soon. Thank you for the hydrate. I will do that in a sec. I know this is here, so give it to me. One up. Thank you. Do I want a knife? Not really. I'll keep my axe. <sighs> okay. It's fine, narrator. It was a not in fact fine. Except it was! None of you believed in me, but I did it anyway. 
Just throw your platforming knowledge to the trash and walk off the ledge, pretty much. Oh, guess who it is, by the way. Hey, Death. If nothing else, we are fighting you at the top of a clock tower, and that is pretty cool. I'm going to do the save point here after this awesome, um, after this awesome gameplay. You should listen to him about platforming. <laughs> to be fair, I have a lot to say. Yeah, and death slows you down. Hey, and he appears in a flash of rainbow. Happy Pride, everybody. Pride what? Whatever you want. Yeah, uh, this death actually is the worst because not only does it slow you down, it hinders your jumping ability and your ability to use sub-weapons and weapons. And also, this death, for some reason, loves to run into you. The scythes aren't the worst problem. It's the fact that he keeps running into you. You can fall off the clock tower... And it just hurts. That being said, okay, I should be able to do this, hopefully. It's gonna be a little bit rough, but if I time this if I space this correctly and do this. Damn it! I actually had a good rhythm there as well. Why did I create a restore point when I died? That was exactly what I was afraid of doing. I did the exact thing that I knew I was going to do because I wasn't paying attention and wanted to get back as soon as possible. <sighs> I am a smart person. I knew I was going to make that mistake. I knew I was going to make that mistake. Okay, it's fine. Fine. You know why it's fine? Who needs an axe? Belmonts aren't known for their axes. Belmonts are known for the goddamn whipping prowess. So what if we're fighting someone that can run into me and slow me at a moment's notice because he comes off screen like that? And I can't see him 50% of the time because of it. So, so what? So what if it's actually kind of horrible? Because you don't know where he's going to appear on some from sometimes while he's summoning sides. So what? All you have to do... It's just not get hit. I was so close. I was so close. It's fine though. Because it's doable. 100% doable. Richter, I swear to God, you gotta get through this, man. You and me. You gotta get through this. We saved your girlfriend. We saved the child. We're gonna kill death again. I fought this motherfucker god don't knows how many times. You would think death would know when to stay dead, but no. Man doesn't want to give up. Can't, yeah, can't use my whip while that's happening. Just confirmed. You fuck, I hate it when he does that. It's, I, like, you just have to be able to predict. Okay. 
and just keep moving, I guess. I accept death. <laughs> you didn't even let me fall off, you ass. <laughs> Screw Terra, I'll body slam him. Oh, I appreciate the sign to forego the BS and fight to you one on one in the end. True, to be fair, he does that in the original Rondo also. Um, he does it in a different location, but it's the same sort of deal. He actually has the same design also. And I actually really, really like that he um, changes into a more traditional death design rather than whatever the hell this getup is. I actually do like that. You're fucking kidding me, the hitbox- <sighs> Okay, whatever. I thought I jumped through that perfectly, but I guess I didn't. Get away from me, please! Are you- Yeah, okay, yeah, no, just- I got hit once, it filled the s and then it filled the uh, screen with sides, and from there on, I knew I was screwed. I've been lurking this whole time, you got this cam? Thanks, Scotty. I know I got this, I'm just venting. Hopefully it's enjoyable. <laughs> Venting's all I got. <laughs> I just have to get in a good rhythm. Doesn't matter if he hits me a few times, as long as I stay on track. Where did you go? There you are. Okay, you know what? I'm rather... Weirdly enough, I'd rather get hit by the scythe than you! Because the scythes don't slow me down. Or stop me from using my weapon. Also, I got knives. I need to remember that. Knives can actually help me here, get rid of the scythes. Spawned that on me, you son of a bitch. Oh, fucking god, I hate. I hate when he comes off screen because I literally feel like there's no way that I can tell what's gonna happen and where he's gonna come from unless I happen to see it. Also, that attack, I have no idea how to dodge. Straight up, I have no idea how to dodge that attack. Oh, that's meant to be blood is red in the PC engine version. Oh, oh, you mean the ectoplasm? Yeah. Uh, blood was too much, apparently. I don't know why Death bleeds red, but in this game he bleeds white, and I already took too many hits. No, there's a, there's a dead run. Hang on, uh, let me hang on, let me make a restore point after I've gotten all of this stuff, so I'm not wasting time whipping it every single time, because that's just pointless. There we go. Death bleeds, so it doesn't have legs, but it has a ca cardiovascular system, apparently. Oh, fuck off, Death. really sad when I get to the point where I know it's a dead run, because I almost feel- to be honest, I almost feel like I'm cheating every time I just restart from, like, when I haven't actually died. Because I could do something legit hype. I could be like, oh man, I could, like, super beast it all of a sudden, but with the randomness of the sides, I really don't think I can. But you know what? You know what? I'm only gonna restart when I die. 
because I could do something super cool. And I am denying myself that ability if I restart every time I think I'm gonna die. That being said, this one seems like a bad run. Yeah, mm. Okay, you went that way, even though you went down, and I had to scratch my nose, which actually got me killed that time. There we go. The key to this just might be to hunt him down instead of letting him go off. To I can't! Because there is no place for me to go. This is the only platform I have to work with. Because if I go- well, if I go down, I die. <laughs> so... When he goes off screen, I can't. Like, I literally can't do anything. I have to just wait. If I could hunt him down, I would. Second phase at the very least? Okay. If I can be a if I can be a motherfucking baller right now. Damn it. <sighs> if I had more health, I could have maybe done that. I had really good spacing on that first attempt. Fuck, you were nowhere near me, death, you son of a- to your, um, reputation of always being one of the hardest boss fights in this game. You're kind of a... You're kind of a punk in, uh, Bloodlines. You had a cool gimmick, but you yourself were really not that hard. This! This is more one, um, than more of what I'm accustomed to. Stand still so you can try and keep track of him, but don't stand still because there are fucking sights flying every five seconds at you. Okay. I should have kept an eye on you. That was my bad. I shouldn't have- I shouldn't have let you off go off stream when I knew you were going to get into your second phase. That was completely my bad. Notice that the clock is, um, showing the witching hour. Wonder if Ryoma is spooky times in Japan as well. Wouldn't surprise me. Ryoma is pretty spooky. That's where you get the real dank memes. And real good programming to view. I got wombo comboed and there was no way I could have done anything to avoid it. Because of my slowdown. You fuck! He doesn't even attack me, he just... 
He just casually just goes through me, just eh. He doesn't even do anything. That being said. Okay. Yeah, you tried again, didn't you? You fucker! I hate you so much. <laughs> I was so close! I was just in his body instead of outside, and I couldn't get the the knives to hit him in time. See you later, Andrew. Thanks for sticking by on this uh, pain. It sucks because I think to myself, I'm just gonna restart on that one. I'm I'm sorry, I'm breaking my own rule. It sucks because whenever I get to this point, I legit think, am I doing something wrong? Like, is there anything I can do right now which can make this easier? And my honest answer is no. I guess just dodge the scythes better. Even though I'm trying my hardest to dodge them anyway. And then sometimes when I try to dodge them, I jump into death instead, who just makes it harder to dodge. Okay. Wombo combo. Wombo combo! Okay, that was a good run. That was a good- that was a good combo. Like maybe there's a pattern or something, you know? Like, maybe if I ever found out, like, oh, hey, if you go from side to side of the clock tower... Maybe he- it makes it way easier to deal with him. Okay. It's the best I've ever gotten. You motherfucker. I fucking can't believe you had a magic pixel. Oh my god, I left for like 20 minutes. Is death really this much of an ass? He really is. Like... Yeah, he really is. I've got him close. I can do this, though. I can do this. All I have to do is just not fuck up once. I really should have paid attention to how many times I could use my knife item crash. Okay. You fuck up every time he does that. Die a little inside. Literally, in Rector's case. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Brilliant. Oh my god! You fuck! You fucker! Oh, this sucker son of a bitch is going down. Oh, this son of a bitch is going down. I can- I now know I can do that four times. And if you don't think I'm not gonna do it four times, oh, you are sadly mistaken. That motherfucker actually did a straight up fighting game cross up on me. You know what? That was some good tech. I'll give it to you. Ah, oh my god, the slot. <laughs> it's 
Fine, have a scythe spawn on me. Why not? Add insult to injury, why don't you? Also, have it. Yeah, no, no, like, yeah, no, just, just, just kill it. Just kill it. Kill, kill the, kill the file while you can. Kill the run. The root, that run had no future. <laughs> that run had no hope. Okay, I got hit by your scythe. That's actually good. Okay, yes, 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 yes. 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 I can do this. Going down. Skeleton son of a bitch! Okay. This is it. That is going through you. That death, you ass that was going through you, you know that was going through you. Uh, die! First try. <sighs> we have defeated Lich's Chuck Cousin. Yeah, we have. I'm gonna take a drink now. I'm gonna stop spitting all over the place. Oh, final stage. Level three, got him. Could you imagine if I loaded the safe point right there? Oh man, we get a cool remix of um, the stage seven theme from uh, Rondo of Blood, though, which is pretty dope. Which in itself has remixes of um, some of the other Castlevania tracks in it. Okay. God, if death went that bad, I'm really dead dreading Dracula. I'm curious. I'm scared to ask. Does anyone know the thing with Dracula in this game? Yeah, you know, honestly, I'm just gonna... Yeah, just... <laughs> You're not the threat here. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> now that's spooky. The color direction in this game is interesting. It really is! Bloodlines was uh, also super interesting with its, like, Sega Genesis uh, palette. Honestly, the stage isn't even that long. The stage is uh, pretty short, all things considered. Because it's just the lead up to Dracula. That being said, there's uh, still some things that I need to. Uh... Some things I need to do. Also, oh, fuck off. Okay, this, yeah, no, okay, this spearman is doing the thing where now I actually can't progress unless he gets away because of the spear hitbox. Because there is no safe spot for me. If I stand where he, okay, okay, he moved away. Don't move forward. Otherwise, the spear hitbox actually is too big for the platform, which, yes, that is ridiculous. I also know for a fact that you have meat. Okay. 
Yeah. Hey, you know what? You helped me. I'll take that, buddy. Thank you very much. Oh, this fucking bit. Right, okay. Create restore point. Yes, please. Wii U gamepad is running out of battery. Oh, this will be fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, fuck you. Alright. Here it is, folks. Told you it wasn't long. Okay, cross. Absolutely, for this. <sighs> I'm so bad at these- Yo, dude! Don't know why you're up so late. Oh, don't worry, we're at the final boss now. I'm bad at these games too, but here I am. So who likes a Dracula boss fight where there is an a, where there is an instant death pit always there? Cause fuck you. It's Dracula with pillars because actually fuck you. Thankfully. I know how to deal with this bullshit. <laughs> I, why? I have literally never seen him do that attack from that position. That was, that was perfect. That was actually perfect. At least getting hit isn't making you gravitate towards those pit- Oh, they do. Don't worry. And the best part is my floats are so goddamn jumpy. Then it makes getting across these super hard. <laughs> I'm so happy I made that watch this um, reward now. <sighs> right. If I take this nice and slow, I should be fine ish. Also, there is actually a meat in this room. Uh, that candle right there has meat. So if I save it, I will actually have meat. I'm also going to hope that I get some, um, good RNG with this. Which, so far, I am not getting. Yeah, that's, if, he's on a, if he's on a higher pedestal than you, uh, he's Obi-Wan's advice and don't uh, attack him while he's dropped the high ground. It's not worth it. That is the absolute best position you can get to. If you can throw a cross at him in that position, you can get like uh, you can get free hits in. It's the absolute best case scenario. Whew, okay. I'm just gonna stay on my pillar. This pillar is mine. I will name it after my firstborn child. In honor of this pillar. Which will serve me! We're not calling it Steve. We're not calling it Dave, either. But yeah, how are you doing? How are you doing, Ting? Hope you're doing well. Glad you can be here for this. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, don't look at chat. Okay. What? Dracula, why do you do this to me? Call the pillar Dave. No. I refuse. <laughs> Let's make a bet, chat. What's gonna die first, my battery or the or Dracula? I would like it to be Dracula, but knowing the Wii U gamepad, I'm betting. Okay. Okay, right. Please, please continue spawning there. 
There's good too. I didn't have time to throw a second one. Why did I throw a second one? I know I don't have time to throw a second one if I miss. I throw a second one because... <laughs> oh, you get a kick out of this. I found you can name your retainers. Big Boat now has Little Boat. <laughs> nice. I Fuck, why did I look away at chat? Damn it, Connor, you distracted me. I blame you. Your idea got preemptively shot down. Hell yeah, it did. Okay. No! I need to make sure that I actually got my cable ready, just in case. You! Okay, I lived. Take the meat. I don't have a time limit. Just gotta be patient. Okay. Steve, no, but Steven is the European release name of the character in one of the Zelda games. Oh, Steven! Yeah, I got very confused for, for a sec, just like, what the fuck? What Zelda character is called Steven? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I can do this. Why did I move forward? You! I'm ready now. Hey, what's up, Ocarge Twitch? You do have a time limit. The gamepad's battery. You're not run. I have now gone rid of the time limit handicap, so it's all good in the world. Also, hydrate. Fuck it, I'll do it mid-fight, why not? A smart person will wait until... I inevitably die again before doing that, but fuck that. Meat. But yeah, honestly... I tried to jump over it, I swear. Who's ever idea it was? Hey, what? We need to make this Dracula fight different. Make him stand on pillars. Whoever you are, let it be known that I hate you. Whatever you are doing now in life, let it know. Let it be known that you actually are the worst. Also, to anyone wondering why I didn't get knocked back that time, I would like to know too. Also, I would like to know why my jumping has suddenly gotten very unreliable. <sighs> Charging the gamepad is Okay, you know what? You don't think I could beat this before... <laughs> before the gamepad battery did life gets destroyed? I'm gonna prove you wrong, chat. I'm gonna prove you wrong. <laughs> okay, just take it. Take it like a champ. Man, I'm four in on the watch this, huh? Yeah, no, that was my fault. 
That was bad RNG anyway. <sighs> okay. I can get one shot in if he go if he goes there. Just need to be patient. I'll take the meat. What two? Okay. Gauntlet has been thrown down. All I need is patience. I will set a tent here, Drac. I will pitch my tent. I'll camp out for however long I need to. I'll build a house here. Raise a family. You are not making me move from this spot. Unless you do that. <laughs> In which case, I will momentarily move from that spot. <laughs> Shit. I did not mean to do that. That was my bad. It's fine. It's fine. I'll take the damage. Fine. Consider it's a pretty nice spot. It's got nice stonework. Got some history behind it. Maybe I could set up a time zone here. Maybe one of those skeletons that go backwards and forwards that would like this spot. I mean, it's not a lot of place to move around, I guess, so they wouldn't be able to move around too much, but. That's why it'd be a time zone. We, we can set up a play payment plan. Maybe they want to go to a spot where they don't want to move around as much because it's so much work. Yeah, I feel like there's a future here for this. <sighs> okay. You just keep on teleporting there, but drat. Just keep on eating up my time. Like I said, I can be patient. <sighs> Friendly finale, everybody. Dracula versus Richter, who will reign supreme? Vampire Hunter Extraordinaire? Or Random Ass Batman? Resurrected for the umpteenth time. That's why you need to settle down, Drac. That's why no one likes you. You're too clingy. You get your maidens. You sacrifice one every single time. You invite me over. And this is the hospitality I get. Honestly, it's shameful. <sighs> okay. Yeah, you thought it was over, huh? Remember when I said Dracula was in Speedos? You! That was the worst RNG possible. And that's why... I need those. I need that. All right, Battery, don't fail me now. You haven't run out yet. Get have dunked upon. Like I said, Connor, it isn't over yet. My battery's still going.
Come on, Wii U gamepad, don't fail me now. We've been through so much together, so many video games. Well, actually, I say that, you're actually my replacement game with Wii U gamepad, because my other one got com completely trashed while I was doing an LP of Tokyo Mirage Sessions. And I had to get a separate gamepad from eBay, because Nintendo doesn't sell gamepads separately, and I couldn't get it, um... I couldn't get it fixed. So actually, my other gamepad I played more games on, but still, regardless, you're here now. Where the fuck is Dracula? Okay, well, at least he killed me at the beginning that time. <sighs> Why would I save mid-boss? What do you take me for, a charlatan? The only reason I would save mid-boss is if someone told me to save my game. And so far, no one has done that, so... No mid-boss saving for you. Okay. Something something Wii U was a bad idea. Honestly, the only other official way to get this game is to emulate it. I, I, I mean, is to uh, get a, like, cartridge, because this game wasn't really released on anything. Actually, no, that's a lie. You can actually get it on 3DS. I forgot about that. You can actually get this game on 3DS. This is actually good RNG. Okay. Please teleport there again. That would actually be the best. <gasps> Throw me a bone, Drac. Throw me a bone, Drac. That works too! One hit in. Don't get greedy. So, how many pip, uh, hit points does Drac 1 take? Yes. Fuck. I miss. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Don't go for a second one. Not worth it. Stretch mid fight, nothing special. <sighs> okay. 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 Richter, please make this jump. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for giving me at least that. <laughs> Just to let everyone know. It was on blinking. I am indeed video gaming. 
You beat a petty game, congrats. You beat a busted ass version. Oh, by the way, this is the good ending. The good ending is this, um, this piece of art with Maria and Annette in the background with Richter. Hope it was worth it. And you know what? It was. Oh, it so was. <laughs> What's the bad ending then? Uh, don't say- well, there's two other endings. The other endings is when you save Annette, but don't save Maria. Or save Maria, but don't save Annette. Which basically implies that the one you didn't save died. With, like, their spirit in the background or something like that. You know, who cares? <laughs> Honestly, who cares? Can you save neither of them? Um, yeah, okay, yeah, sorry, that's the other ending. The, the other ending is you save neither of them. That's true, sorry. You're absolutely right. That's the other ending. Oh, the petty game was the challenge, uh, not your char- get your, um, uh, not the, um, the game, it was the ch charging. <laughs> sorry, brain. Actually dying. Can't believe you surpassed the curse of watch this in the space of a single stream. <laughs> I'm really happy I put that as a reward now, you know? There's some more implications to it, which I, uh, did not think of. Anyway, that was Dracula X, everybody. I'm still glad I covered it. Despite its... BULLSHIT! I'm glad I beat it on camera.